The best camouflage clothing in the world cannot hide soldiers when they fire their weapons at night. Gunmakers have been able to cut down on the muzzle flash, but a small-time inventor says he can stop it almost completely. Fox reporter Bruce Dunbar shows us why soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan are snapping up his invention. It's a long way from a battlefield in Iraq to a tiny factory in Tempe. But a product made here could have a positive effect on the safety of U.S. soldiers over there. It um, suppresses the flash about 100% at night, even under full automatic fire. Clear. A device that appears to virtually eliminate We're good to go. muzzle flash. Superheated gases emitted when an M16 rifle is fired. The Army issues troops a device called a birdcage. Clearly a huge improvement over nothing at all, but... It puts out enough flash signature at night that the uh, bad guys can see where the shooter is. Smith's Vortex flash hider appears to do a better job, much better. It will suppress the flash to such a degree that the enemy will not be able to see you and return fire. The Vortex is the inspiration of Sonia Summers. I suggested, why don't we do a twist? We go to the shop and we put a, a five degree and then we put a 10 and 15 and there was the magic number. Twisting the prongs into the shape of a helix to better dispose of the gases. I felt ecstatic. It was great. I knew for a fact that it was going to save lives. Summers and Smith took the vortex to the U.S. Army. It's bogged down in red tape, and it shouldn't be. This is really a no-brainer. Like we say, this thing is less money than a body bag. In fact, a vortex costs just $31. It's sometimes just easier to have someone back home send you what you need than it is to wait for it to go through the, uh, the system and, and actually get it out there. Border Patrol agent Gary Widener's son, Keith, is in an infantry unit stationed in Iraq. Actually, my son found it uh, on the Internet from Iraq and contacted them and then contacted me to get in touch with them. Gary ordered the Vortex and other equipment for him from Ron Smith's company. You know, Dad's going to do whatever he can uh, to take care of his son. This is standard stuff with the exception of this one magazine here. This is a commercial type of round, but anything with a green tip is what is uh, being used in uh, combat right now. Smith says he gets requests for the Vortex from soldiers or their families nearly every day. If they are paying for it out of their own pocket, we donate it to the individual soldiers at no cost. Precisely what he did for Gary Widener's son, Keith. It's not about the money. It's about how can we best take care of our people. And uh, being a former soldier myself, that's on my mind every day. In the case of the Vortex Fire. Flash Hider, it appears less is more. Less flash, more safety a better chance to stay alive. We have done our very, very best to save lives, and that is our main sole purpose, is to save lives. In Phoenix, Bruce Dunbar, Fox News.